The article from Ligonier Ministries provides a comprehensive theological analysis of Romans 1 focusing on the human condition in the absence of divine grace. It begins by discussing the Apostle Paul's assertion that humans, by their very nature, are aware of God and his moral laws. Despite this innate knowledge, humans choose to ignore God, leading them into a state of futile thinking. This is not merely a matter of knowing what is right and choosing to do wrong. It's a fundamental brokenness that affects our ability to even understand what is right. This inherent sinfulness skews our perceptions, making it difficult for us to discern God's will for the world. Also, the article goes on to argue that without Christ, we lack a genuine understanding of what it means to be human. It references Colossians 3 and other Pauline texts to assert that believers in Christ are transformed into a new kind of humanity. The first human, Adam, was only a temporary representation of what true humanity could be. In contrast, Jesus Christ, often referred to as the new Adam, embodies the essence of true humanity in a permanent way because he is without sin. When believers accept Christ, they put on this new true humanity, which replaces the flawed state they were born into, a state characterized by lust, malice, covetousness, and idolatry. Moreover, this transformation into a new humanity is not instantaneous, but a process that requires ongoing guidance and effort. The article emphasizes that sin continues to cloud our judgment and actions, making it necessary for us to continually seek divine guidance. Jesus serves as the ultimate example of what true humanity should look like. He exhibited qualities such as compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, virtues that are often not associated with worldly success. Adopting these virtues may even act as a hindrance to worldly advancement, but the article reminds us that Jesus never promised an easy path for his followers. True discipleship may come at a cost, but it is the only way to embody the new humanity that Christ offers. Furthermore, the article discusses the practical implications of becoming this new humanity in Christ. It refers to Paul's list of qualities that believers must strive to put on, which include compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. These are not just abstract virtues, but have real-world applications. For instance, practicing these virtues may mean refusing to engage in backstabbing, gossip, or revenge actions that might be considered acceptable or even advantageous in a worldly context. Yet the article underscores that following Jesus might mean not getting ahead in the world in the way one might expect. Finally, the article cites John Calvin to accentuate the Christian duty of forgiveness. According to Calvin, just as we have been forgiven by God for our numerous offenses, we must extend the same grace to others. This is not an optional part of Christian life but a requirement. Forgiveness must be extended even when it comes at a personal cost, whether that cost is emotional, physical, or monetary. The article concludes by reiterating that being a Christian means embodying this new humanity by living a life of forgiveness, compassion, and moral integrity, even when it is in direct contradiction to worldly values and ambitions. In summary, the article provides a profound exploration of the human condition, the transformative power of Christ, and the virtues and responsibilities that come with being a new creation in Him. It challenges us to reevaluate our understanding of success, humanity, and morality, urging us to align ourselves with the divine standards set by Jesus Christ.